Hello. Good morning. Welcome to <laughs> Scriptures by the Fireplace, right? Even though the fireplace is in the living room and it hasn't been fired up in years, um, we're just going to call it that. All right, so we're going to get into what Miss Cherie McGinnis had pointed out um, from her uh, her channel, Different Bible Studies, and we're going to go ahead and dive into um, the month of March. Um, let's see here. Before I get started, I wanted to show you what I did. If you remember in my most previous video, I had these here and I decided I would glue them together with, I forgot the name of it, but it's a white tube. And what you do is it's binding glue. That's really all it is. It's for when you want to make um, bind pages together. So I just said, I'm going to make this one huge book. And the funny thing is I did it right here on this carpet I wasn't thinking and I was like remember I told you I said if I do anything that could stay in this carpet that I would pull the carpet back and do it on the regular floor and that quick I forgot so I hopped onto my desk here and I had a paper here that I'm going to share with you just for laughs and I got this idea from Gail Agostinelli from, um, she does uh, different types of scrapbooking and things. Um, and she is on YouTube. And she had this little paper. Well, actually she took a big piece of scrap <laughs> scrapbook paper, hold on. And she, would design and I made a video of this and I at least I think I did and it's for sh like stress relief where you take the paper and you just draw a line straight straight and then you draw squigglies and squigglies and then you go back with a marker and you just fill in where the lines connect wherever there's a corner or any type of connection you would do that and I had it right here you know to practice and to doodle on and if I'm doing something on the desk I won't mess this uh, black cut this right here wouldn't mess this up and I went ahead and glued this together on this good thing I did because glue had gotten all over it and ripped a hole <laughs> and totally ruined this paper and I said you know what forget it I I just I'm gonna keep this paper here I'm not gonna fix it I'm just gonna keep it and put it under the underneath this um, what do you call it this uh, placemat it's a metal I mean not metal but wooden placemat um, of Graceland and I got this from oh got this from uh, the thrift store like oh my god maybe a year ago sometime like that and um and I just said, you know what, I'm just going to, it doesn't match, but I'm just going to leave it here. So that way, if I do any type of scrapbooking or something, and I don't want to mess something up, and I'm just sitting here, I'll just put it on Graceland. <laughs> I think this is one of Thomas Kincaid's um, paintings. I'm pretty sure it is. But yeah, so I went ahead and I made this a book, and I can just go ahead and rip a page off. For notes or for scrapbooking you know whatever but I just thought I would share that with you because I just thought it was so funny that you know I just got finished a video like sharing with you guys that I was gonna be careful and you know and sure enough so there we go got my little comfy socks on and I'm ready to go I'm ready to have a little bit of a Bible study here so let's let's get into it. Let's see what Miss Cherie got planned for us. And Miss Cherie, if you're watching, I hope that you are feeling better. I am so sorry that you were under the weather. I miss your comments. I miss uh, having you online. I hope that you did get a chance um, to check out my uh, thrift store and dollar store video where I mention you quite often. 
finding things that you might like. Oh, goodness. All right. So anyway, let's get into this. All right. So I've got you guys on the clip thing. So I'm hoping that it is not down too far or up too high or whatever. I hope that you guys are able to see everything just fine. I got this really weird feeling that I that you guys might be upside down. I really do. So what I'm going to do is just to cover my own, I'm going to stop this video. And then I'm going to start it back up again just to make sure that you guys are not upside down. Okay, so if you are upside down, I can go ahead and flip it around um, during editing. So let's go ahead and see what we got for today. Let's see what we got going for today. Um. <clears throat> I love these right here from Disney um, Happy Planner. I really don't need it, but it, it was just something that came in a kit. Um, so I see that my thing just went down dim a little bit because I didn't check to make sure that I had enough <laughs> battery life to do another video. So here is just some Bible, some um, Bible stickers. Um, you know, even though I have my main sticker storage, I do like to have certain stickers that I know I'm only going to use for this particular book or a particular book, and I just keep it there. Keep it there. So we're going to go into March, flip straight over to March, and see what March is about. You are stronger than you know. Hang in and go your own way. Um, so that's cute. I haven't written anything over here yet, but I'm not sure what I'm going to put there. Matter of fact, I think I know what I will put there. How about this? Let me see if I can lift you guys up a little bit. All right. So I'm thinking, why not? use this I love how this is gilded it, you might not be able to tell but it's it's gilded in silver look at that beautiful isn't it all right so let's go with what we have here I put I did take that little piece of paper in I don't know what I'm gonna write there and I did put a little keychain on there which I'm sure you guys knew I was gonna do so and brush right and I put castle lady because her the lady who's I got saw this book from I think it's Christina's castle so I just put castle lady all right my favorite Bible verse devotional by the Christian art publishers and this is the month of January um, and I'm just going to read a little something and let's see here. God is your refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. Let the oceans roar and foam and let the mountains tremble as the waters surge. And that's Psalm 46 and one, verse three. So right here, and I'll read it to you guys. God is my protector. Whatever your circumstance, God always tells his children not to fear, constantly reminding, constantly remind yourself of his promise. He will be your refuge and protection and protect you wherever you may go. He knows that his children can be victorious if they are not afraid. Rejoice in the Lord. You are very special to him. Jesus is your savior and he also rescues you from anxiety, fear, and fear. Just trust God at all times. Relax. Be still. 
at the feet of Christ. Your fear has become God's opportunity. Grab hold of it and don't be afraid. And here it says, Dear Lord, I praise you for being a safe refuge to me from the storms of life. Thank you for setting me free from fear and anxiety. Amen. So you know what, guys? I am going to go back to January. Before we get into Miss Sheree McGinnis, I'm going to go back to January. And I am going to... Um, I'm going to write that on there. Now, I don't have any room because we've already used January. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write right here. Psalm. Oops, my bad. I messed up. <laughs> messed up already. 46. 1 through 3. So I wrote it right up there. And even though um, let's see, Miss McGinnis was talking about um, the love of God and what we get from the love of God, this you can put this with that. You really can. You can fit this in here anywhere that you want to right here and let's see what this next one says but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles Isaiah 40 31 another one of my favorite scriptures I'm addicted to Isaiah have been since I can breathe remember when I first took my first breath <laughs> okay um soar like an eagle let's see if you guys can see I just want to make sure you guys are in some kind of focus here it says you have the ability to rise above challenges by trusting in the Lord under all circumstances and be remain and, and by remaining okay I don't have my glasses on I'm sorry by remaining conscious of his living presence when the love of Christ fills your heart and mind you will start to focus on seeing the best in people and accepting their flaws. Mounting up with wings like eagles means to rise above narrow-mindedness and to reach the heights that God desires all his children to live at. Regardless of the circumstances that, live, that you live in, never allow them to claim your attention to the extent that you lose sight of spiritual realities. Trust in God and soar like an eagle. And then down here, it says, Lord, teach me to live a worry-free life by putting my trust in you every day. I want to soar on eagle's wings. Amen. The freedom that you get in God in his love and knowing the truth about who he is and who you are in him will allow you to be able to do this. You will renew your strength and you will soar like an eagle. Amen to that. All right. So I'm not going to go all through January, but I'm going to pick those two for the first week of January and then I'll pick another two for the remaining week of January and we're just going to go through this together all right so that's it for that one okay guys I'm back sorry about all the interruptions but it seems like every time I try to do a video I forget how much battery juice it takes out of my phone and then I go to make another video and I can't all right so I got you guys in the charger right now and we're gonna move on okay so this next one um what did I say um let's go ahead and turn this page all right how many what did we what did we have all right so this was January and I had one week that was one week in January 
and then this was the second week in January. Um, and so that second week in January was sore like an eagle. And I'll write that in there. So we are going to write that right here, which is um, Isaiah. No brush writing. I'm just going to put it in here. 40, verse 40, uh, chapter 40, verse 31. And it says, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. And they shall mount up with wings like eagles. Now we got we, we all know guys that the that wings of an eagle is exceptionally large and exceptionally powerful. Their wingspan is oh it's beyond words. So that will be the last week of January. And then we will move into February. And the first week of February, um, again, I won't have any room to write anything because we filled it up already. Um, so I'm just going to write down here. Uh, let's see. Let me go to February. I'm still in January. And the rest of this... I'll just do on my own unless you guys really want me to do it with you. Um, but this one is February the 1st. And it says, speak in love. And the scripture is 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 3. Or 1 and 3. I'm not sure which one I got on here. Um... But anyway, it says, if I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I gain nothing. And so we know that there's a whole lot more to that. So I'm just going to write that down. Um, speak love. Live love. And be love. And I'm going to write down here 1 Corinthians 13, 1, and I'm put 3. That's how they have it. Because I usually put, if it's 1 through something, I'll put 1 dash whatever the next number is. But they have a comma. So I'm not sure if what, why they did it that way. But it doesn't matter. The, the message is still quite vibrant. And so, all right, my bad, I didn't read it. Okay. For February, speak in love. The fact that the Almighty God loves you, um, excuse me, the fact that, that the Almighty God loves you is breathtaking and incomprehensible. It should be the most sensational discovery of your life the realization of God's love for you and the awakening of your love for him should lead to true love and appreciation for the people around you especially those you come in contact with on a daily basis although you may provide you may provide materially for those close to you like your family that is not a guarantee that they know you love them. A single word or a special act of love from time to time is worth far more than the material things that you can give them. God of love, I stand amazed at your love for me. Please help me to show love to others through my words and deeds. Amen. 
that is beautiful and that is really really powerful because again it does correlate with what mrs sheree was talking about let me back you up a little bit here um all right there we go that looks a lot better so this this again correlates with what Ms. Cherie was talking about in some of her Bible studies um, as you can see you know it's all about love you know love and how powerful love is and and what love will make you do and just the realization of who you are and that you are loved by God and it, it just makes you want to love and show love to others um, so that's pretty good. All right. So now for the second week of February, the final week in February, the beginning week, what did I say? I'm forgetting my stuff. All right. The plan was the first week of February of each month. And then the final week of each month, Bible study, scripture, writing. So now this is the final week for February. So, um, Right here, she's talking about um, that I belong to the Lord and when you pass through rough waters. So this is all about a lot of love, 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 love and stuff. Let's go on to the next page and just wherever it leads us, we'll go. So the next page says the right attitude. And this says, and this is Philippians, Philippians 1, 127. And it says, whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Stand firm in one spirit, striving together as one. And of course, you know, there's more to it than that. But the gist of it is, is just what this says right here. Um, the right attitude. God gave you the responsibility, free will and choice you choose your thoughts and attitudes and determine whether you will live on the mountain peaks of hope or the valleys of despair. It is not your, it is not your circumstances, but the power of your thoughts that shape you into what you are. And when you welcome the spirit into every part of your life, he takes control of your thoughts and you start acting in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. He helps you to stand firm in the face of challenges and enables you to share the hope and joy that you have um, in God with others. And then the prayer here says, Lord, I want to be controlled by your spirit and grow in faith each day. Help me to conduct myself in a manner worthy of you. Amen. So that is pretty great there. So I'm just going to put on here. Oh, let's see. Where would I want to write that? Okay, I'm going to write it. I'm going to make sure that you guys are able to sit. I'm going to write here, top priorities. And I'm going to put Philippians. one twenty-seven, And I'm going to put on here. I'm just going to leave it right there right there just like that and that would be for the final month I mean the final week of February and now we can go over to March yay that was a quick way to make me to make myself catch up right all right so I'm going to go to March right here and by not doing every single one with you guys, that way that you guys can do some. Because I know you're going to get this book. You know, There's no way you're going to not see this and not fall in love with it. Okay, so this one's for March 1st. And it says here, commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. Proverbs 16 and 3. Now, I don't know if this is going to... Whoops that bookmark there. I don't know if this is going to correlate in any way with what Miss Cherie had picked out for March. I have no idea. We're just going to see where the Lord takes us on this. So for March 1st, I am going to put down here for I'm going to write it down here and set it put down here Proverbs 16 3 and that is commit your works. I'm just going to 
commit your put commit yourself to the Lord. And that'll just sum it up right then and there. And and I'll write it and I'm not in a position to do any um, brush writing, but I will write a little fancy or try, <laughs> try anyway. I'm in an odd position because I got to put this phone in the charger. So commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. All right, that sounds good to me. Okay, let's let's let, let's see what this says here. All right, it says planning is an important aspect in every area of life. To ensure that your planning will be successful, mm -mm. planning will be successful. So you, you need to consult God in prayer. Tell Him about your expectations and fears. And seek his guidance and ask him for clarity and wisdom to know when he gives you the answer. Now, didn't we talk about this before? Having knowledge, but having the wisdom on how to use that knowledge. Um, then you have to trust him steadfastly, leaving the matter in his hands. In his own perfect time and way, he will show you the path to follow. And you will then need to move ahead obediently and gratefully, bearing in mind that he is with you every step of the way. Oh, I love this. Oh, I can go on and on about this every single day. Different things I've shared with you guys, you know, in previous videos. And it's all about just trusting God and, you know, just leaning on those everlasting arms. Um... This says, Dear Guide, let me in all your ways help me to follow you in obedience and thank you that you are always with me. So, you know, there you know, there you have it. Dear Holy Spirit, you know, um, lead me, guide me along the way. For if you lead me, I will not go astray. Lord, let me walk each day with thee. Um, I love that. I love that. Okay. And let's see. So we'll go with that. This one will reflect on the last week of March. So I'm going to leave my pretty little bookmark. Yes. I'm going to leave this beautiful little bookmark right here. And I picked this one because it has the colors that are in this book so much. So, yeah. Yeah, I love this, guys. Planning is an important aspect in every area of life. And all of us planners, we know that, right? And pretty planners and journalers, all that stuff. And it's, this is just great. And to ensure that your planning will be successful, you will need to consult God in prayer. That is so true. And I, I tell him everything. So this is great. This is great stuff. I love this book. I highly recommend that you guys get this book. Oh my gosh, it's it's just, it's phenomenal. They would be even better if it had like space, like to write, you know, like dec a decorative, decorative page for writing. And it would be great if this was like puffy, you know, like soft and puffy. This is like strictly hardcover. Um, but that's it, you know, so that works out great. Okay, so we are going to do the first week and... Let's see, I'm at 14 minutes. So we're talking about 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7 through 3. Now, I didn't go, well, I did not go walking tonight. As you heard, my husband asked me, why didn't I go walking? Tonight, uh, this is my um, Holman Christian Standard Bible. Okay, this is that super large print Bible that I was telling you guys about that you've seen in previous videos. And like I said, I'm at, let me put this here. I'm at a really uncomfortable place. I should go out into the living room and do this at the table. Um, but I need to keep this in the charger and I just don't feel like unplugging everything. So 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7 through 3. 
Okay, guys. Um, chapter 5, verse 7. And I don't know why I wrote 3 through 7, but it's just verse 7. Or whatever it was I wrote. Um, but here it is right here. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet we are confident and satisfied to be out of the body at the home with the Lord. I'm going to go on. Therefore, whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to be pleasing to him. For we, for we must appear before him, before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each may be repaid for what he has done in the body, whether good or bad. So that was chapter 5 of 2 Corinthians. And I actually, I read verse 7 through verse 10. 7 through 10. So I wrote here 7 through 8, but it should have probably been, I mean 7 through 3, it should have been probably 7 through 8. But either way, what do I get out of this? That we walk by faith. We really do. And not by sight. And we are confident and satisfied to be out of the body. And at home with the Lord. Now that's just all the way deep. Whether we are in heaven. Whether we are sitting next to the Lord at the throne. Whether we are at the door of heaven. Whether we're at the lowest level of heaven. Whether we are home or whether we are away, whether we are in this body or whether we are not in this body, however you choose to take it, however that scripture speaks to you, we take it all on faith. Whatever God says, we believe it and we support it, whether we agree with it or not, because it's his way and not our way. And walking by faith and not by sight is what gets us from point A to point B. So, uh, I want to say unmeasurable faith. Walking by faith. And I'm going to say, and not by sight. Being confident. Whether we are home I'm going to put in or out of the body And then What is it also said It's so for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ So that each may be repaid for what he has done in the body, whether good or not. Cross and crowns and, you know, just, it's going to be an incredible time. So the correlating uh, Bible verses we have here is, is 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 13 and 12. And we have Philippians. and 23 and then we also have Revelation 22 and 12 but I just wrote that one down um, so now the next one here is Hebrews 11 and 3 so let's turn to that okay yeah like I was saying earlier um, my husband asked me why did I not work out tonight guys it, this is one of them situations where you just have to listen to your body. I was all dressed in my workout clothes and geared up and ready to go. Had my watch on and everything. And um, I think my adrenals got a little overworked. Maybe I took too much, drank too much coffee. I'm not sure, but I, I went to the restroom. And then I came back and I sat down for a moment. And I just started dozing off right there in, the, in my chair. Just started dozing off while I was sitting up. And like I said, it's been a kind of a bit, it's been a rough week in a way, you know, um, we had some things that had to be taken care of that interrupted our sleep cycle and we're trying to get back on track with that. And, um, I have to get up at a certain time to give Gappy her medicine. And, um, so it, I don't know. I just, it just, there was just a lot of interruptions and it shouldn't have been that way, but it was. And 
so it's like I just really need to recharge you know and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work out Saturday night instead of Friday and try and do my four mile hike with my rucksack so if I can do that I will feel a lot better I will feel accomplished um, I feel like I I did what I set out to do all right so the next scripture is Hebrews chapter 11 and it's verse 3 and I'll bring this over to you okay so verse 3 says by faith we understand that the universe was created by the Word of God so that what is seen has been made from things that are not seen so that's what she has and I'm not gonna go any further that's what she has so with that let's see what it says what it says the correlating scripture for that is John 1 and 3 so I'm gonna write down John 1 and 3 and I'm just going to add this little bit on here where it says by faith Abel offered to God a better sacrifice than Cain did by this he was approved as a righteous man because God approved his gifts and even though he is dead he still speaks through this um, 11 verse 3 so this is these are and then it goes on to talk about if you go down to chapter 5 I mean verse 5 by faith Enoch was taken away so that he did not experience death and then it goes on to say um, by faith Noah after warned about what was not yet seen um, he built an ark by faith Abraham when he was called obeyed and went out into the world so it's a lot going on here about by faith by faith by faith by faith and now without faith it is impossible to please God so this correlates right on here with what Mr. Cherie was talking about before that we walk by faith and not by sight and when we do that we are extremely blessed we are blessed and examples that Hebrews is showing with us that by faith we understand that the, the Lord created his word he created he spoke things into existence there's your big bang theory he is the big bang he exploded words of life and creativity through his creativity okay so there is your big bang um, and by faith Abel did his thing by faith Enoch did his thing by faith Noah did his thing by faith Abraham did his thing and we can go on and on and on of the different people who by faith did some crazy things I mean some insane things building that ark based on something that was not seen in the physical Abel uh, Abraham you know Abraham offering up his son that's a crime <laughs> you understand what I'm saying so it is by faith that we please God but because it's about trust you know what I mean you know how when you tell someone something and it sounds so outrageous that they don't want to believe it or they refuse to believe it and you get so you feel so hurt because you know you're telling the truth if they would just step out on faith and just believe you you know how pleased you are how happy you are well you know what you can compare that so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to close out I'm not gonna go to the next um, three days because I'm already at 24 minutes and we'll just save this for another time and um, so instead of me doing you know three full you know one whole week for the first week of March and then do another one for the final week of March I'm just gonna break it down I don't know, let's just play it by ear, okay? We'll just play this by ear. Um, either way, we'll do two, we'll do the two weeks. So I am going to write here that by faith we understand God is the creator. I'm just gonna write it like that. He is the creator of all things. And by faith, we 
please him. Okay, so I didn't write that scripture exactly how it was said. Um, but just summarizing what those that little area, that little section was about is about, you know, that faith. That faith, that faith, that faith, that faith, that faith. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop there so that I don't rush or speak too fast. So I want you guys to let this correlate with you that um, for this first week of March, we it looks like we're heading in a direction of, you know, committing ourselves to the Lord with our thoughts and our hearts and, and just walking by faith, knowing that it pleases him, that we trust him enough to say, okay, Lord, because you said so then let it be um, putting a smile on Jesus's face and feeling that smile come right back at you there's no words that can express you know you talk about a cup overflowing that is an example of your cup overflowing so yeah let's go ahead and do that I'm going to close out and say that you know stay strong in God keep your chin up and know that everything that works together for the good for those who love him and who are called to his purpose. And trust him regardless and have faith. So you guys do that. And I leave you in peace. Shalom. God bless you. And have a wonderful weekend. Until the next video, which will hopefully be tomorrow. Bye, guys. <laughs>